Storytelling is one of the most powerful things that we can do as people. We can affect change on a global scale with nothing more than the stories we tell. Anyone can be a storyteller. I genuinely believe that. Hi, I'm Sid Ward, and on this channel, I document my process to becoming a self-sufficient creative. When I first began this journey, I mentioned what this channel will be for. I'm here because I'm going to be self-sufficient off of my creative passion for storytelling. I will link that video up here at the top so that you can watch it if you haven't seen it already. It's important for me to live my life on my own terms, and the way that I plan on doing that is through my passion for storytelling. That's why in this video, I'm going to talk about why storytelling is so important, and why you should start telling your stories now. Also, be sure to stick around to the end, I'm going to throw in a few bonus tips that I think will help you out. So why is storytelling important? Stories are our way of passing information from one person to another, and this has been the case for thousands of years. Storytelling even predates civilization as we know it, with things like early language and cave paintings being ways that people could communicate ideas from one person to another. It is fundamentally human to tell stories, and a big part of storytelling is empathy. I can't know what it was like to be alive 200 years ago, but through the power of storytelling, I'm able to empathize with the stories that people told, and I have an idea of what their experiences were like. Unfortunately today, we don't place enough of a focus on this instinctive storytelling aspect of our psychology. Powerful groups try to cover up our natural desire to be storytellers. We live in a world where it's me versus everyone else, and it's an endless competition for power and money. They tell us that we shouldn't worry about what other people are going through, we should just focus on ourselves. They tell us don't worry about the issues in the world, you should just work harder within the system. They try to take away our power by telling us that we can't change the world, that things just are the way they are, and that there's no alternative. Stories can be a force for powerful good or powerful evil. People believe stories and people empathize with the message of stories. And because of this, stories can either cause generations of pain or change the world for the better. Stories can and do change our fundamental views of the world. The stories that you tell can and will affect people. That is why storytelling is important. Stories can be a poison just as easily as they can be a medicine. I'm hopeful that the stories you want to tell will be beneficial to other people. And if that is the case, here are some things I think you should keep in mind. Now, I would like to point out, while I'm not an expert, I do think that these tips I'm about to provide will help you out when it comes to telling a story. The first thing that you should understand is that stories are journeys. People like to be taken on journeys when they watch movies, watch TV shows, read books, listen to music, or look at pieces of art. As the creator, it's possible for you to craft a journey for your audience. This applies whether you're writing a book, writing a song, or illustrating a piece. The second thing to keep in mind is to find out what you want people to think and feel from your story. It's important to know what mood you want to set for the audience. The third thing to remember is that you may want to include a message in your story. Not every story needs to make people think about your true intent, but I encourage you to think about the message behind your work. Personally, I want there to be political and sociological meanings behind the stories I tell. And this is the driving factor behind what my characters do and what motivates their actions. Although this is important for my stories, it doesn't necessarily have to be a part of yours. Your message or meaning could be about your emotional state at the time, they could be to express political opinions, or just to simply express your views on the world. Some things that might be important to think about are what bothers you with the way that the world works. Whatever it is, tell a story about it. Talk about an issue in your way. Just because it's a story does not mean that it's not true. You can be a force for change through storytelling, and nobody can stop you. The last thing to keep in mind when writing stories is to allow yourself to make mistakes. The philosophy that I've adopted here is don't play it too safe. Always learn new things. Be open to the idea that storytelling is a journey and that there is no complete knowledge. There is no final step. Keep thinking of new ways that you can push the limits of your current knowledge and how you can work to find your voice. It might be cringy at first to read your stories or listen to your voice, but it's all a necessary part of finding your voice when it comes to storytelling and turning your ideas into reality. So I've talked about some of the key points that you should think of when coming up with your story. Now here's that bonus I promised. I know it can be hard to tell your story, you might not even know where to start. So here are some easy ways that you can start telling your story. The first one is to base your story on a real life event. This could be something that you saw on the news, something that you read in an article, or something that happened through history. It could be something that happened to you personally or to a friend. What's great about telling a story like this is you can make it unique and you can express to the audience how you felt during that experience. Some examples include old childhood memories, conversations between you and a friend, or things that are just unique to you. 
The next one is to build your story off of a what if scenario. You can even build off of existing characters or stories if you want. You could do something like what if Luke Skywalker had to work at Best Buy for a week. You know, the important thing is just staying creative with it. It's all about finding a catalyst for your true story to come out. The next thing is to spend some time developing a character that you're passionate about and then write a story about a day in their life. The character could be based off of yourself or someone you know, or you could completely create a character from scratch. I recommend browsing Pinterest for character design ideas. This can really help out when you're developing a character. Once you have a character, think about a day in their life. What do they do? Who do they talk to? What are their motives? What do they want to change? Things like that. The next method is to start by building a world. You could think about the politics in your world. You could think about all the systems that are in place, the different types of creatures or societies that are on your world. You could think about things that need changed in your world, and if so, how would you change them? You could even write about the geography of the world, or you could talk about the cities, or even the technology. Something I would say to keep in mind is that your world building should service your message. How do the politics and the technology all connect to that central message that you're trying to convey? Here's another bonus. Use a writing ritual to commit to frequent writing. You don't need to know everything about writing to start recording your stories. It's easiest to just develop a habit and stick with it. I'll link my video where I show you how to develop your own writing ritual and why it's important. And also keep in mind that it's important to just start telling your stories as soon as possible. Storytelling and recording and sharing your stories is the best way that you can affect change and help others empathize with your message. I hope you found this content useful. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to this channel to keep up with my journey of becoming a full-time creative. I'll also link my Instagram account down below. There you can keep up with my journey of becoming a creative too. Always remember the importance of storytelling. It's a skill that's inherently human and no one can take that away from you. So get out there, tell your story, and keep creating.